Here's what $5,000 a month gets you in downtown Dubai. So in Dubai, you can get apartments in all kinds of prices. But today I got lucky because my friend Kevin just moved into this super nice, luxurious apartment right in the heart of downtown Dubai with views of the Burj Khalifa. And he has kindly allowed us inside to give you a bit of a tour. So I took a taxi to downtown Dubai to see what $5,000 a month can get you in Dubai. The building where he lives is in such high demand that it's impossible to even buy apartments there. But literally the perfect location with amazing restaurants at the Dubai Mall just a short walk away and amenities like his swimming pool with a view of the Burj Khalifa. Spoiler alert, I'm a bit jealous of this place. So let's take a look. There he is. How's it going? The quality of people here, it's just on another level. Like if you're in another condo or area, you'll see that it's like a totally different level of people here, like yeah. vacation and yeah, 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 that's it. So the more expensive units start at around 300 to 400k per year, but this one specifically is not as expensive. We're on the lower floor, we're on the second floor, but um, it's still, you know, not cheap. Mm -hmm. It's about 15,000 per month if you get it on an annual basis. Yeah. If you're renting Short term, you're going to be paying like 17 to 18, 19, 20,000 per month. Uh, yeah, long term, short term. It's the thing here, what I've noticed as well, because when you rent short term, you pay a massive premium yeah. on the annual. And obviously, exactly. a lot of people will leave over the summer, like exactly. myself, yeah. because it's so hot. Um, exactly. Yeah. Perfect. So, what we can do first, my girlfriend said it, what we can do first is show the amenities yeah. and then just come down and show this. Sure, sure, yeah, that's fine. So that's Before we get into the apartment though, can you just tell the people what you do? So my name is Kevin McKenzie. I help people move their businesses and move their lives and move their families to Dubai. It's a really big decision. So we consult with people to actually help them execute on this. So if you want to move your business to Dubai, whether it's to benefit from a higher quality of life or to pay no taxes or little to no taxes legally, then of course you can book a call down below. I'd be more than happy to get on a call with you or one of my teammates. We'll get on a call with you and explain to you the entire process from start to finish. A link down below for a free call if you want to speak with this guy. <laughs> I need my fist bump. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is where people come to go to the pool. And actually, something really cool about this condo is there's villas here. Mm, there's villas. villas. Yeah, there's villas. So Damn. if you come here and you'll just see right see. there, it literally says villas. When I walked up here, I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Villas, like we're in a villas in the massive skies. tower. Yeah, yeah. Villas, villas right in here. No, no. But it's around the corner over here. You're getting a peek of the view as well. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. So that's one really cool thing. On this side, you have the yacht view, I guess. Like the canal connects over there. And you have the yacht. And right behind the, the yacht club, you'll see the Atlanta Hotel. They just opened it. It's one of the like most expensive, luxurious hotels in the world. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of that view there from the hotel here. But yeah. some people are. Yeah. And over here, you have like a multi purpose room. To be honest, it's always closed. I'm never able to get in here. Mm, I think you have to book it. Mystery room. Yeah, you have to book it. I wonder in what goes, in, goes on in there. <laughs> it's a big business. You're like a garden. The gorgeous view. We'll walk from over here and you actually yeah. see the villas uh, over here on the right. So, villas right there. To be honest, they kind of look like nobody's living in them, but I feel like uh, maybe they're just on vacation or something. I've seen people in this one before. I've only gotten in here briefly, but. Beautiful view. You have Burj Khalifa right there. You have the address over there as well. Mm -hmm. And at night, of course, all this is gorgeous. So it's pretty good. I, I enjoy it here a lot. I came here yesterday for the first time. For the first time? Yeah, honestly, I just stay in my house all day, to be honest. I'm yeah. busy working. Grinding. <laughs> yeah. And then we can go and check out the gym, which yeah. I also haven't used. I went yesterday and I used it for the first time as well. This guy goes to the gym like once a year. Once a year. <laughs> That's what he told me. I go to the gym once a year to just see how weak I'm getting. We were having I this conversation earlier. I said I work out daily and he works out annually. Annually, exactly. <laughs> you know, as long as I'm doing some kind of physical activity, I'm happy at the end of the day. Look at it. Let's see if anyone's putting in work today. Yeah. Nope. Oh, one person. Like one person. But yeah, it's a small, small gym, but it gets the job done. And you have a really nice view here too. Damn. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So you can see the fountain right there. You see the roof of the mall. I've never seen that before. Well, actually, I did go to the Burj once. I saw it, but... Yeah, just, every single night, yeah. every 30 minutes, they have a water show and the light, sh the LED show on the Burj Khalifa is mm. like, yeah, I don't know, Sick. I don't know. It's crazy Sick. though. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. We gotta go quick. Security's after yeah. us. I feel like we're not allowed to film here. Yeah, you probably need a permit. <laughs> well, Especially with a big camera like this. Yeah. It's okay, we're gonna lose them. We're gonna lose them. 
I swear I never use the amenities. Yeah, no, buildings I've had, all of them I've had pools. Yeah. But I've never, well, Oop. I've never used them. Yeah, to be honest, I don't really use amenities either. Yeah. I just stay in the house all day. Yeah, working. Just work all day, yeah. Or I go to the office somewhere, or I'll meet clients in person or something, oh. but... Okay, so let's go and check out the viewing deck. I think the yacht one might have been a little bit better than this, but this is so gorgeous. This building right here is called the 118 or 118. It's one of the most, I guess, luxurious buildings in this area or, I don't know, in demand. There's really nothing that's for sale here. And if you look at the balcony, they're huge. You see how big those are? They're basically all like penthouses, so it's pretty wild. I actually have no clue how much they cost, but I'm sure it costs a lot of money. You have a nice view of some other buildings, the addition hotel, it's a gorgeous hotel as well. But yeah, I mean, it's just a viewing point. So basically from this building, you can see every angle of downtown Dubai. So it's pretty interesting. It's pretty nice. You stayed in Burj Views? Yes, I think it's, is it this one? Yeah, I Burj think Views. so. It is. Yeah, yeah, that one. 68 floors. You want to go check out how quickly we can get to the top for fun? Fold this open after. 43. Oh. No, that one. Should be this one here. Here it is. Yeah, Frickers, what's up? You have permit for this? I live here. It's not, not allowed? Common area without permit. It's all okay. okay, done. Thank you. All right, so welcome. This is my humble abode. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it's a one bedroom, one bathroom, one balcony condo. And uh, honestly, like my whole life, I always wanted to live downtown. I always wanted to have a nice view of like the city, nice view of Burj Khalifa, that's more recently, but I always wanted to have a nice city view. So here we are. This is the dining table right here. I eat my food here. Sometimes I work here. I have some equipment, some gear here. I have some fruits. I didn't order the fruits. My girlfriend ordered the fruits. I'm not that healthy. Uh, I can't take credit for that. He just eats McDonald's <laughs> and shawarma. I swear I don't, I swear I don't. And then we have, um, you know, a stove right here, which again, I don't really do anything. I usually order most of my food, like most people here in Dubai. It's crazy, but it's cheaper to order food than to cook yourself. That is crazy about Dubai. When I came here, I was surprised as well. Yeah. Eating out can be expensive, but you can get like less than half the price if you order. And they have so many uh, deals as well, like it's discounts. It's crazy. Like I can get anything ordered here, food, cleaning. There's even some cleaning services where it's like 12 dirhams, which is like $4 mm -hmm. for a two hour cleaning session. Obviously that's not a regular price, but still like just the fact that you can get that is pretty nuts. Like if you wanted to do that in, in the West, you're gonna pay like $100 minimum to have someone come for like two hours, maybe 50 bucks minimum. But yeah, I have my microwave here. Again, I haven't even used this myself. I don't, anything in the kitchen, I don't really like to handle because- it, This has not been touched. It's not really, yeah, it's not really my field of expertise in here. I have uh, <laughs> other people do that. Then we have the washing machine. It's not a dryer too, it's just a washing machine, but it's all good because there's a nice balcony which we'll go over shortly. But then, yeah, I mean, everything's here, ba pretty basic. We just got this coffee machine, so that's nice. We just got these pods. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have some coffee. I'm gonna be going, uh, going crazy on my sales calls. But uh, yeah, so this is the couch. One thing that I noticed about this condo is like the couch is like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like designer. Super nice furniture. I've never seen this before. Yeah, it's like designer. It reminds me of like a, in the interior of like a car. And this kind of looks like Maserati. It's oh, yeah. not. But if you look at all the all the details, it's like a, a sports car. So maybe you'll drive away if you sit down yeah. in one of these cars. <laughs> and one of these chairs, you see, I'm already confused. Yeah. But I have the ring lights here. Reason why is because I like to take my calls from right here. So I'll just sit down right here, put the, ch the chair at an angle like this, turn the lights on, put the laptop on the table or on my lap, and then I'll just take my calls from here. And the reason why, you'll find out soon. I won't show you just yet, so just wait. Maybe you've already seen why, but um, yeah. And then we have a TV here. I don't watch that much TV, like I don't use the amenities upstairs, but you know, once in a while, we'll put on something there and we'll just watch to wind down. And then right here we have the bathroom. So this is the one of one bathroom. It's pretty good. I like it. There's a tub, toilet, sink, of course, and shower as well, which is great. I've never taken a bath here, but might have to one day. Oh, actually, if you're watching this and you're not from Dubai and you don't know this side of the world, you might not know what this is right here. Tell us. Comment down below. This is a bidet. If you don't know what it is, basically after you go to the bathroom, use it to clean yourself. Similar to like what the Japanese people do. 
it's just like a different instrument, I guess. Maybe I don't need to explain it too much, but it cleans. It cleans. It's also a nice quality as well, all of this. Yeah, it's really, really nice. And uh, yeah, I mean, what do you think about it? Does it feel, I mean, uh, does it feel it good? It feels so luxurious. Like, so many places, like what I like about apartments in Dubai in general is that they're very modern. Yeah. It's not everyone's vibe, but like I like the modern sort of polished, like uh, luxurious vibes. Definitely. And you get so many nice places like this Definitely. in Dubai. And it's so much cheaper than what you would get in like major Western cities, I feel like. Yeah, I mean, I feel like if this was done, and you'll see why I'm saying this much money. If this was like downtown, like New York, first of all, the quality wouldn't be the same. This is a relatively new building. I think it handed over in 2018, new. But it still is really nice here and you know, for the price, in my opinion, yes, it is expensive for maybe someone watching this video, but if this was downtown New York or London or something, I'm sure it would be easily double the price. Easily. So, yeah, and plus it's more expensive to live there. And yeah, here's the bedroom. I'm not a fan of this right here, but... <laughs> it's where all the magic if, happens. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or at least, you know, that's what they say. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, let's do a little bed test. <laughs> no, honestly, I love this bed. It's a king size bed, so... Um, super comfortable, super big. I was sleeping here last night and my girlfriend was like on the other side of the bed and I was like, where is she, where is she? I couldn't even tell she was there, I thought she was gone. But yeah, it's just, the bed is so big. So I'm used to like double bed uh, and queen beds, but king is like, I don't know, like it's, it's amazing. Again though, this, if I was staying here long term, this would be gone within Ooh. weeks. <laughs> it's like a print, I don't like that. And then over here, obviously if you have a wife or a girlfriend, you know that the bigger storage isn't for you. <laughs> so let's look at my space right here. We have my shirts and I have a bunch of other stuff in storage right now. To be honest, I just like to have what I actually need. But my shirts and I have some shoes down there. My shorts, I have some pants over here. My watches over here. Show us the watch collection uh, at the end of the video. Actually, yeah, actually, oh. maybe let's show it now. This is actually a really interesting story. So before I had any money, Back in about 2019, I bought this watch. So this is a not a replica, but it's basically what a Submariner looks like. And I always wanted to buy a Submariner watch. So, and Rolex Submariner, maybe pop it up on the screen. And I always wanted to buy it. So I got this one kind of as like a motivator. Like one day I'm gonna actually have enough money. I'm gonna be successful enough to have a Submariner. And I got this and I wore it for one to two years. And then finally, in 2000, I think 22, I finally bought a Submariner, which is right here on my wrist now today. Yeah. So I always want to keep this watch as a reminder of like, if you work hard enough and if, if you provide enough value and you do things right, you can get whatever you want in life. So that's kind of like, this is like my favorite watch, even though this one is like <laughs> a million times the price of this one, it's still my favorite watch. And then I have this other one that my mom gave me when I was just a young boy, I think it was like 13, 14. So I just like to keep them. It's more of like sentimental pieces, not like a, something that I wear. Honestly, I never wear these watches, but I'll still bring them with me wherever I go, just for, you know, the sentimental part of things. I just have the Apple watch. <laughs> Apple watch works, man, it works. And in here, we have some very uh, secure stuff back Ooh. here. So we have the safe hidden behind all these shorts. So we're in Dubai. So can you take a wild guess what's in here? In this safe? Okay. I don't know. I have no idea. Well, we're in Dubai, so there's literally nothing, nothing because I don't have to be worried about anything. I can have so my cleaners sorry. here when I'm not here. Mm. I can literally leave my watch, my wallet on the table. I have zero fear whatsoever. Dubai, Dubai is so safe that, that people don't even lock their doors. Yeah, exactly. I've had people walk into my house before. I was just sitting on the table and some lady walked in and I'm like, oh, wrong house, <laughs> <laughs> wrong house. But over here we have my girlfriend stuff. As you can see, a lot more, a lot more, a lot more stuff, but even her. As usual. Yeah. <laughs> but then we have a really gorgeous view of the, the Burj Khalifa from the bedroom, which is I awesome. I can't even see the, it's, it's so, so high that I have to go all the way <laughs> to see the entire thing. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Oh, it feels nice today, it's hot. So yeah, I mean, I just like to sit here and just chill. At night, honestly, it's so gorgeous. Is there like big traffic at night here? Yeah, Together. great question. So there's like a, a light there, and honestly, these lights usually take a little while. They take a long time, yeah. I remember I always walked through past here when I was living in downtown. Yeah. They take ages to turn. Yeah, it's exactly. It's one of the best views I've seen. It's like, gorgeous. And I got insane. so much better after I got my glasses too. Oh yeah, I you can see, see. I can see everything. <laughs> I'm not wearing them right now, but I can see everything so much better. It was kind of like actually a shock when I put them on. I was so surprised. I was like, oh my God, that's crazy. Yeah. 
So now you can actually see that the Burj is here before yeah. you didn't even know. <laughs> before it was just a tall, <laughs> a tall building, I had no clue what it was. If we go back to the living room, oh, actually, wait. So I have my chairs here. I'd like to sit here. This is my, uh, my plant. Nice. This is honestly just for cooking, but it's kind of so hot that I think it's dying slowly. So. Does, the, does the plant have a name? Uh, Jerry. Jerry. We'll give it Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> we'll give it Jerry. I don't know why. <laughs> There's a Jerry watching this. Shout out to Jerry. Shout out to Jerry. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. So let's go and see why I work from over here. So if you sit like this and you take your calls from right here, uh, then you have the birds uh, in the background. So if the camera's here, you'll probably see it. Maybe not. Yeah, we can see it. You now. can see it, yeah. but yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. So I like to get on the calls, show people that I'm actually here in Dubai. I'm actually here and obviously, um, you know, it's, it's a nice view. And it, and it motivates me, honestly, at the end of the day, this, it's more for motivation. Like you don't it have does. to get something here downtown. It's just like my dream to live here, I guess. And mm. it just motivates me every day to see that. But it does, you do get kind of over it after a while. Like when I first moved here, I was like, oh my God, this is crazy. Mm -hmm. But then after a while you get used to it. So I like to work from here too sometimes. And all my cables are there, nothing crazy, just cables. Second phone and laptop. And actually, if you live in Dubai long term, this is how you know if someone's living in Dubai long term. Mm -hmm. They have one of these. So if you take a look right here. Yes, I've had one of those. You have one of them? <laughs> yes. So it's the water pump. So instead of ordering water bottles, which honestly, like it's cheap anyway, but it's just cheaper to get this. And uh, you just pump it. So I'm going to make a mess here. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to have to clean that up. I appreciate Sorry, guys. getting the content for me. I have to do it for Thomas. So <laughs> make sure to like and uh, subscribe so for this. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, what do you think about the, the condo? What do you think? I love it. I love it. Now you're tempting me. I should move here now. Yeah, I mean, come. We have, yeah. a, we have a, a bedroom for you somewhere. We'll yeah. make a bedroom. <laughs> but yeah, you I mentioned you nice. can get to the mall via uh -huh. this building. Yes, we can. Maybe we should show them how we should get we to the mall. Them? So Dubai is Let's hot. But it's all good if you live in a condo near the mall, you don't even exactly. need to step outside. So exactly. yeah, maybe let's go and show people let's how to get that. there. So basically you can just leave your hallway and then go to this area right here. And from here you can get to the mall. So you can see- Secret entrance. Right here, where's the mall? Where's the mall? Ooh. Chinatown. So that's Dubai Mall. Chinatown is a section mm. of it. It's interesting, most of these Chinatown is like a actual part of the town. Yeah. In Dubai, it's a part of a mall. <laughs> <laughs> Also, in cool. international city, you can go to like a Chinatown as well too. It's actually pretty cool. I've never been though, oh. but I've seen videos on TikTok. Did you know that? Yeah, interesting. Yeah. So here it is right here. And also, popular restaurant by the influencer Hafiz Musafa is right here. So it's right there. Oh, we got some noise, but it's right there. You guys probably have seen him, like the viral videos of him like cooking while smiling. Yeah. It's right there. So like you can literally just sit down and have like a coffee or something here as well if you want. There's like some coffee shops along the road here as well if you want to go to. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And then there's actually a cinema there too. Mm -hmm. So if you want to go to the cinema, you don't even have to leave the house. This is a very nice test. breakfast restaurant, by the way. Have you been to it? Yeah, I've been there many times. Mondu? Yeah, Mondu. They also have one in JBR and oh. in the Creek. Oh, nice. It's one of my favorites. It's like a chocolate themed yeah, it has like breakfast food, like pancakes, amazing pancakes, by the way. I'm gonna have to go there then. Yes. So how, how long did that take? Not long, maybe like one minute. The recording is at three minutes three and minutes. 40 seconds. Not yeah. Bad. Three minutes from where we, we where we were. Exactly. That's actually really yeah. good. And we were walking pretty slowly and stuff too, yeah. so. But it's so quiet right now too. So this is where it officially connects to go to the mall. I feel like if this was in like, uh, London or like anywhere else, it'd be packed full of people. Yeah. It would be packed. But it's not, it's pretty chill. I've actually been to this part of like this section. I know that there's like a walkway there and I've walked down there to yeah. go eat, but I'm gonna actually come here. If you ever wanna play video games, I don't. I quit video games in 2018. <laughs> Once Play I decided, the game of real life instead. Yeah, once I decided I wanted to make money, I <laughs> popped off the game. I just sold it. Actually, fun fact, instead of selling my PS4, my gaming console, I rented it out to people. Mm -hmm. so, so I made my money back on my investment. So security <laughs> there or something. Right? Okay. It's like, yeah. it's like uh, you know those video games where like the boss is like... Yeah, exactly. So this is Chinatown right here. It's honestly so cool. And there's even like an Asian themed mm. grocery store with a bunch of cool stuff. And there's a huge panda here. So if you like pandas, Dude. then there you go. Yeah. Dubai is like yeah. the biggest everything. Biggest like buildings, biggest hotel, and the biggest panda. Like it's huge. Like look at this. Real life size comparison. <laughs> it's like, 
So here's like the food court. There's so many different options. If you like pho or pho soup, however you want to pronounce it, you can get it here, bubble tea, different desserts, sweets, and they're all here. It's like a cafeteria style place. It's pretty awesome. Oh. All right, so that's the video, guys. Such a nice apartment. I'm now very tempted to move here myself. Maybe I'll do that. But like I said before, if you are someone who is looking to move to Dubai right now and you want to help with that process, you can book a free call down below with either this guy or our other business partner. They can walk you through the entire process, tell you what to do, and like essentially set everything up for you if you decide to use our services. But with that said, if you want to see another apartment tour, I actually filmed two of them on my channel before. And here is one of them from my apartment in Dubai Marina. So if you want to see another tour, go watch that video next. And I'll see you in the next one.